Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. This video I'm just going to go over everything that I have packed in my diaper bag. Some of you guys have requested a what's in my diaper bag video. I preface this with saying I am currently a little over 36 weeks pregnant right now so my little girl has not come yet. I have not used my diaper bag. I have not taken it anywhere. Um, so things in here may or may not, I may or may not use them or I may find that I want to add other things to this diaper bag. But for now, this is the diaper bag that I have packed um, and I'm not gonna take this to the hospital with me. I'll do another video of what's in my hospital bag. This is just my diaper bag that I'm going to have packed uh, to go you know, run errands, go to my parents' house, um, you know, trips, things like that. This is everything that I've kind of thought of um, to pack a diaper bag. So let me just start by saying that all of these products I will link in the description box below. So let's get into it. Um, okay, so the first thing obviously is the diaper bag itself. Um, and we opted for a backpack diaper bag uh, so that it's unisex. And um, so my husband can carry it and I can carry it as well. I also wanted a diaper bag just so I'm not having to hold a couple different things. Obviously, if I'm carrying her on my arm, it would be easier just to carry a backpack. This is not the diaper bag that we registered for. The diaper bag that we registered for was actually the Ergo Baby, and we registered for it at Bye Bye Baby. And for my baby shower, I did not receive a diaper bag, so I went ahead and bought one on Amazon, which is where I got this one, and I actually still have the tag on it. It is in Inunu. So, um, I actually ended up buying this because it was about 50% cheaper. Well, then unbeknownst to me, we actually ended up um, getting the Ergo Baby diaper bag that we registered for, so I had both of them for a time at home. The reason I ended up returning the Ergo Baby was for a couple different things. First of all, I didn't see enough of a difference for the more expensive bag. Um, than this one right here. This bag I think was about like $35 on Amazon and the Ergo Baby is about $90 I believe um, at Bye Bye Baby. So there wasn't that much of a difference. This has all of the same pockets that the Ergo Baby did and it also has these little this little feature right here. So it has a little snap. I don't know if you guys can see that right here. This is perfect for us because we do have the Duna stroller. So I can clip it on to the front of a stroller if we go anywhere. And um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Duna, but the Duna doesn't have like under carriage storage or anything like that because it's all one piece. Uh, so this is like my storage basket on my stroller as well. So this was super important and I think ultimately the determining feature um, as well as the price. So, all right, so that's the back. I'm just going to go through each one of these pockets here, um, kind of how I have them packed right now. So in this front pocket, I have the mommy hook. Uh, again, this is perfect for my stroller because I can hook my bag on it. I could even hook this onto it if I wanted to, um, groceries, things like that. So I put that right in the front pouch of my diaper bag. So that's that front pouch. Now the next big pouch here, um, I have like basically what I would call my mom pouch. So it does zip down all the way, just like this. And there's two slots here for bottles, uh, for milk bottles if I want to put um, bottles of milk in here as well, which obviously I don't have in there right now. Um, and then there's an, also a compartment right here. And in here I have my Lansino Lanolin nipple cream, just in case if I'm breastfeeding and we're out some places. Um, we do spend a lot of time with family, so being at their house and then I also threw in a couple of these disposable nursing pads just again just in case I start leaking if we're out somewhere so I did go ahead and I kind of use this as my mommy pouch once I do start pumping and bottle feeding I might stick bottles in here as well as the milk storage bags uh, I could even stick my Hakka in here if I wanted to but for now this is kind of what I have in that pouch the top pouch right here I do have some diapers um, I have like seven or eight diapers in here, but I just have some, these are just the newborn diapers for now. These are the Pampers Pure. And then I also have some Honest Company diapers that um, I just figured I would put some of the little sample packs that I've been given in there as well. I don't know what diapers I'm gonna go with. I've gotten so many different types of diapers. We'll kind of see what she ends up liking. On the side of the bag, there is this little 
kind of like little peekaboo cutout for some wipies. So I did throw in, again, I have these sample packs of wipies that I keep getting. So I have, looks like these water wipes. And I actually ended up buying a couple big packs of these as well to have at home because they are 99% water, which I really liked. Um, and then I also, these are the Pampers Sensitive um, wipes as well. These were just, again, in some like sample pack, something that I got. So I just figured, perfect for a diaper bag. Um, and I kind of threw those in here. And they do, if you, you know, were out somewhere and you need to use a changing table, they do have this little peekaboo hole and I could pull a diaper or wipe through that little hole. Um, on the other side, here I do have uh, some hand sanitizer from Baby Gannix. Just to throw those in there. And then I also put this little soother. So this could be clipped onto her bassinet or her stroller. It's the My Baby Soother, I guess. I, I have never used this. This was gifted to me. It was gifted to me as a must have from another mom. So I'll let you know how this works, but it's got a bunch of different sounds um, and features to it as well. So those are the two side compartments. Um, opening up this first pouch, I kind of have this this also zips all the way down which is really nice like this so it's, it does zip all the way down uh, to easily grab things um, I can also put some stuff in here which I guess I could do if I wanted to uh, but I think I showed this in a haul that I did so this is the little itsy ritzy like insulated bag that I picked up at Target it's insulated on the inside it's e it's washable as well so Things like snacks, either for me or baby when she gets older, uh, you know, pacifiers, things like that. So I did stick a pacifier in here as well. Um, I'm actually, I put the Ryan and Rose one. It's in its package still um, because to remind me to wash it. But this is a pacifier and a teether. It looks like they do two different stages. So this is the stage one. It's for babies without teeth. And then I guess it goes to another one for babies with teeth. I've heard really good things about Ryan and Rose. Um, I also have a Wubba Nub as well. It just, I just don't know what she's gonna like. But I do have this pouch as, you know, an easy way to grab things. So I'm not just sticking a pacifier directly into my backpack. Uh, I, I do, I like having little things as you'll see. I like having bags that I can grab and pull out versus trying to get around in a purse <laughs> to grab like a tiny, you know, something that's tiny. So speaking of which, I just use this little, again, it was a sample, uh, little pouch. And inside here I have a travel size thing of diaper cream. And this is the Aquaphor. I don't know what diaper cream I'm going to end up liking, what diaper cream is going to end up being successful for us. This is just a perfect way to use up some samples that I, again, have accumulated. So um, on that note, I also have a, a face and body lotion from The Honest Company. Just these tiny little travel sizes. Uh, and then I also have a sunscreen stick. Uh, so I kind of liked that it was a little stick, like, you know, put on her cheeks or something, the top of her thighs, whatever. It's very hot here in Arizona. If we're pushing the stroller, it does have a sunshade, but, you know, baby's really very sensitive skin. So I did have a little sunscreen. And then I also have this Baby Ganix insect repellent as well. It's a travel size one. I do have the big one at home, but I figured this will be perfect if we're out somewhere. Bugs are biting. I have type O blood, so if she has type O blood, what I'm hearing is that's why I get so, I get, oh my god, I get chewed up from mosquitoes. So I threw that in here as well. Also in this pouch, I do have, I put these toys, tables, high chair, whatever wipes, like let's say we're out at a restaurant or we're out at, you know, I don't know, a place, a playground something like that. I just have some sanitation wipes to wipe down some things wherever we end up. The Baby Gannix line I was re I really liked. I did a lot of research on the Baby Gannix line. I registered for Baby Gannix, so a lot of the things that I got um, were the Baby Gannix line. So I'm gonna start with that and see, see how that works. So I have some of those wipes. And then in this pouch, I have some boogie wipes. Um, my sister's been using these. I've heard amazing things about these. So I did grab some boogie wipes. Um, I've heard babies are going to, babies have boogers, babies have mucus, babies have saliva. Uh, these are nice um, wipes for all of that to kind of grab her nose, whatever. Again, I've heard really awesome things. Could I have used some regular water wipes? I don't know. So, 
I do like that again that this zips all the way down um, so I could you know in theory put things in here and they wouldn't fall out if I open them all up so that's this big long pouch that goes all the way up through here and then in the main compartment I have uh, first of all, it comes with a changing pad. This, this diaper bag came with a changing pad. Now, in here, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there are some really nice like compartments in here. So you'll see one big compartment right here for the changing pad. And then there's also a zippered compartment right here, along here. And in this zippered compartment, I have an extra, this is one of those extra changing pad covers that can go over the top of the changing pad um, just in case she has to blow out or something like that then I don't have to worry about washing this every time I just wash this which is much easier to throw into the wash so I threw one of those changing pad covers in here in that zippered compartment and there's also these side compartments up here I don't know if you guys can see that probably not but there's these side compartments on either side of the bag so in this compartment I have a little munchkin, I mean it could clip on the outside of the diaper bag too, but these are disposable diaper bags. So if she had a dirty diaper I could throw it in there. Um, obviously I'm going to try to find a trash can, but if I can't find a trash can I have these little scented diaper bags from Arm & Hammer. Uh, in here, on that side, on this side, I do have a pair of socks. Just in case, again, I don't know, you know, just in case we are, it's chilly or there's mosquitoes or something, we just need to bundle her up. So I do have a pair of her socks. And then just in case she has, you know, a, she needs to change of clothes. I put two separate onesies in the side compartment down here. Um, and these right now are just the little newborn onesies, you know, just an extra change of clothes just in case. There's also these two pouches right here. So again, I don't know if you can see that, but there's these two pouches on the inside. So these two pouches that are attached to um, this side of the bag. So on this side, I have a burp cloth. Um, everybody needs a burp, cl burp cloth. And then in this pouch, I do have a bib more for spit up um, at this point because she's not going to be eating any solids. So I have like a little spit up bib because she's really drooly. Um, and then I also have a swaddle. So I put a swaddle in here. This is one of those swaddle me swaddles. Put her little legs in here. This is in case we are, you know, I'm thinking we're at my parents' house for a long period of time or his parents' house and we just want to put her down for a nap or my parents have a um, bassinet at their house and my in-laws have a crib, so just in case you know we're there late at night and we're putting her down, I just threw an extra swaddle in there as well. In this main compartment now, I threw in this little baby Nike hat that I found the other day. Um, I found this at TJ Maxx, but my thinking was again with the sun, this is infant size, it looks huge, but it is adjustable. Um, but just something to cover her face. Um, my nephews are playing baseball these days, um, so we, you know, we're going to watch baseball games. There is a sunshade in my stroller, but again, I, I don't think you can be too prepared. So I have a hat, um, and then I have a. This is super cute. So my sister-in-law got me this. Um, it's a, basically, it's a nursing cover slash car seat cover. Um, slash really whatever like I could put my hands through here you know and nurse it can also go around the top of the car seat you know something like this if I'm out in public for nursing it's kind of a dual purpose the last thing in the bottom of this bag is a car or excuse me is a grocery cart cover my mother-in-law found this isn't it perfect it's a little fireman truck so this is you know it goes inside of the cart her little legs go through the little holes here um, but it goes over the top of the Sharpie cart. It does take up a lot of space in my diaper bag, but you can see that this diaper bag fits a lot of stuff. So what I haven't decided is if I'll just leave this in my car. Um, I kind of like having it in the diaper bag because we have two vehicles. The very last thing I want to show you guys on this diaper bag is that there is an outside pocket right here 
which I really like for my wallet, my you know keys, my phone, anything like that. I do still have a lot of room on the front uh, to put those stuff in, but if I'm going back and forth from my diaper bag, you know, putting things in, just grabbing my wallet, let's say I don't have baby with me, I can just grab my wallet and my keys and throw it in my purse um, and just take my purse instead of this. But I kind of like that it has like a secretive mommy pouch and that it's on your person. So it's not, you know, if you're wearing this on your back, these zippers aren't exposed to, I don't know, thieves. I know it sounds stupid, but I like having like my wallet and everything close to my person. So that's the extent of my diaper bag. I went through that all really fast, so I hope that that kind of was helpful for you guys. Uh, but literally when I'm thinking of packing a diaper bag, I'm thinking of every kind of scenario just to kind of have it with me. Like, oh yeah, we might want that, we might want this. Uh, you know, if, if we were going on an overnight trip, it would be different. This is more for if we're out. You know, I'm thinking social events, um, sporting events, holidays, you know, family gatherings, things like that, where I can just grab the diaper bag and I kind of have uh, everything that I need. This may change, of course, once I start pumping. Um, there'll be bottle, more bottled things, more food, uh, stuff like that. But as of right now, if I'm with her, sh sh we will breastfeed. The next video that I'm going to do is a what's in my hospital bag, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. That'll go over everything that I'm bringing to the hospital as well as what I'm going to bring for her. If there's any other videos that you guys want to see as I get going, again, I'm not an expert in this at all. I just, first time mom, kind of, I might be even overpacked, you know? Uh, and there might be other things that I'm totally forgetting that I'll realize um, and make a note about that kind of stuff. But this is kind of where I'm going to start with and kind of have, you know, something that's just easy to grab and go, you know, on our way out of the house. I don't want to have to think about, oh yeah, we're going to need this, we're going to need that. I mean, pregnancy brain is real and I've heard mom brain is worse. So anyways, this is like my first run at packing a diaper bag. So uh, we don't, we're not super on the go, but at least in this case, there's things in here that I can just have. What I didn't want to have was to have to pack everything in there every time. So I kind of like that there's little samples of things that can just stay in the diaper bag. That's really helpful for me because if I'm trying to get out of the house with a newborn, I can only imagine, you know, trying to grab, I'm trying to make it easier on myself and my husband if he was home and had to bring her, everything's already packed, I'll just say, honey, grab the diaper bag. But um, other than that, that is my diaper bag. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do me a favor if you like these kind of informational style vlog, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel as I'm trying to grow this platform and kind of share this phase in my journey. Uh, and hit that subscribe button too. There's a little bell next to it, I think, now. So if you hit that bell, you'll be notified every time that I upload and you guys will not miss an upload. Thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I will see you all in my next